Easy Games Girl here, and hello and welcome to part number two of my speed build of Venus Valentine's Vampire House for my Venus Mantrap Let's Play. Wow, that was a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> Alright, so we're finishing up the final details of Venus's um, master bathroom. And let's see here, um, I just put in the curtains there, and I put in a painting, and of course save the game because you always need to save when you're doing long builds. And this build is in two parts because, as I stated in the previous part, um, I have been fostering a litter of baby kittens, and therefore it took me several days to actually record all of this footage and actually complete the build. And it's also taking me two days to be able to film the commentary for both of them, because I did the commentary and uploaded the other part yesterday. But anyway, here is Venus's bedroom, and I really like how it turned out. It was so perfect and appropriate for her. And you'll probably recognize that bed, because I think it's the same one she has in her current house. And I really like that um, fish painting, so I made it extra big and it seemed like romantic and whatnot. And the main theme I was going for in this particular room was like really seductive and sexy and that kind of vibe. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I achieved that pretty well. And then yeah, that flower thing looks so much better right outside her room. And I skip around a lot in this build, and if that bothers anybody I apologize, but like I said, the main reason for that is because I spent several days actually working on this build, so uh, I just kind of went where I needed to go at the moment and uh, just flowed with it. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, you guys saw there that really annoying glitch where um, if you press Shift 9 or Shift 0, you can make objects go up and down so that you can place them wherever you like, but for whatever reason my game was glitching out massively with that particular um, cheat, if you will, and as a result of that it was like making the camera go crazy, so when I put in hedges later you'll really see that, and I apologize if that bothers anyone. It bothered me, so <laughs> let's just say that much. But here I'm working on the office, which I really like how it turned out. And that smaller desk with the bookcase on top is going to be moved into a different room, namely the guest um, bedroom. However, um, for now, it's going to be in there for just a little bit. And I put a fish tank in there, and things are going to be moving around. And I put that, like, bubble machine thing that I think your Sims can probably get high off of over there. I haven't actually had them use it in The Sims 4, but that's what it did in The Sims 3, because there was that in Late Night, that expansion. So This one, I think, came from the City Living, which is similar to Late Night as far as like what it offers expansion content wise. Except that City Living didn't come with vampires, the vampire pack came with vampires, but yeah. <laughs> I digress, y'all get the point. You all get the point. Oh yeah, and here I'm putting in the stereo in the music room because it made no sense to me that there was no stereo in there once I realized that. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I put those really nice flowers on the dining table and I think they look quite nice. Oh, and I think at this point, yeah, I was trying to figure out what all could go in that room and see if there were any other activities or whatnot that I wanted to put in there or on any of the deck slash patios. And that is when I found the dart thing and decided to put it out there on that um, patio on the third level. And then I also found the foosball table and moved it up there from downstairs, I believe it was. And I put in that nice outdoor couch thingy. And I put in a couple little garden planters here. And I was thinking at first of putting in like actual garden plants that your sim has to water and whatnot there. But Venus has quite enough plants in her normal garden on the bottom level on the actual ground. So I ended up just simply putting in plants that were um, just from build by mode. <laughs> And let's see, here I'm putting in this little um, outdoor dining area, which I think is really nice. Oh, and here I remembered that mailboxes and trash cans need to exist, so I put those in. <laughs> and I put a trash can out there, as well as the grill, so that... And here I put in a little table so that Sims can sit out there on that little patio area and make food and hang out up there. Ah, and here's where I remembered to put in all the outdoor lights. I put them near each of the doorways so that um, the sims will be able to see when they're out on the decks or when they're out in the front at night because obviously that is helpful. 
And let's see here, I'm going to be putting in bookcases in the office. And at first I was going to use those because they look kind of modern and funky and that was a bit of the vibe I was going for. But I ended up putting in completely normal looking bookcases just because they filled out the space better. And they actually ended up fitting the aesthetic more, ironically enough, even though they're not like the uber modern types or anything like that. And I was going to use those bookcases, but those just did not seem right, so I ended up using these ones instead. And I like that they look a lot more full anyway, so it looks like Venus has a more sizable book collection. And being a massive book lover myself, I mean, I write books and I edit them for a living, guys, so. <laughs> so I quite like books and libraries and whatnot. So I was much more pleased with the uh, bookcases that are more full. And at this point is where I decided to move that over there. And let's see, oh yeah, I put in one of those little lamp thingies. I quite like those, they look really nice. I don't remember what pack they came from, but they're one of the ones that are newer to me, so it was probably the city one. And here I was just putting some little knickknacks and stuff on that table beside the desk with the computer. Oh, and there I found a birdhouse and decided to put out the birdhouse right there by the window so that Sims can watch the birds. And later on, I put a um, bird bath near there as well, but I don't believe I did that until after Venus had actually moved in the house and I had finished filming. So you guys will probably see, like, you probably, that words, you probably saw that already if you saw the screenshot of the exterior. Oh yay, the Grim Reaper gnome! That little guy is a bit of a uh, warning as to what really goes on in this house that looks all like modern and nice. <laughs> because Venus is going to become a vampire, as I said in the last part of this. So, uh, needless to say, things are going to get a little bit more interesting than they would for your normal, average human sims. Because Venus is anything but average. <laughs> Ah, yes, and then here I was figuring out what the heck kind of curtains I wanted and discovering that there were nice plain black options for that curtain type, and I made pretty much all the curtains in the house that were of that type be the black ones. And here, um, I will soon choose to make that closet be smaller, like replace the closet with one of the smaller ones. And there I saved it because obviously I need to save a lot. And um, ah, here I put in a little couch there because that area looked pretty barren to me. And here I put in a few little shelves underneath that awesome painting that I think came from Dine Out, if I remember correctly, the Dine Out pack. Mm, excuse me, guys. And here I'm just putting more clutter items because that is one of my favorite things when building in The Sims, is actually just putting in clutter items and just little details that make the build look more realistic and or lived in. Oh my god, that stupid glitch. Oh, if that hurt your eyes as much as it hurt mine, I apologize very sincerely. <laughs> oh dear. But I only left it in just so that you guys would know what I was talking about when I mention it. That and if I edited out all the footage, there wouldn't be, well, you'd miss some of the more important parts of the build. But I edited out quite a lot of that glitching, but I left in just enough that you all get the point. But here, um, let's see, yeah, I'm adding more knick-knack type items to the shelves, and I found that pot that I had no idea at all existed, so I put it over there in the corner because Venus is quite wealthy, as those of you who watched the um, LP will know, and this is a preface for Season 2 of my Venus Man Trap LP, which is going to be starting up pretty shortly. Not before, not for very long. You will have to wait. Oh my god, stupid glitch. You will not have to wait long. And there I was putting the box on that shelf. And yeah, here is another tissue box, because like I said in the previous part, I put a billion tissue boxes like everywhere. And that is totally because Venus is going to need to like wipe off her mouth and stuff after snacking on her victims, you know. <laughs> Ooh, here I really like how this particular room came out. I had no idea whatsoever going in to create this room what I wanted it to look like. I just put that bed in and then went with it. So I left the walls like brown and warm in there, but then I added in that small closet and then I gave Venus the same small closet because it fit just so much better. And 
I was trying to find a place to put those, like, suitcases that wouldn't look dumb, but I couldn't really find anywhere that didn't seem odd or awkward, so I ended up not actually using them, if I remember. And yeah, I experimented with making all of those white, and it just didn't quite look right to me, so I made them black again. And here I'm adding in those little lamps that give it a little bit more of a warmth to the room, if you will. And uh, I quite like the way that looks. Oh gosh, and here I was trying to figure out what kind of like picture or painting would look best by the bed, because it looked like something really needed to go at the head of the bed, but I could not figure out what, and I really liked that particular painting, so I moved it over there. And there I found what one I wanted. Oh, and in a minute I'm gonna pull out these gorgeous little chairs, I think, if I, oh yeah, I put in that tablet in Venus's room first. But then, yeah, here is where I found these really cool, like, hot pinkish, almost fuchsia, maybe, type of chairs. And I really like the color they added to the guest bedroom. It looks so nice in there, and it's got so many different pops of color that the rest of the house just doesn't really have much of at all. And that's one of my favorite things about this room is how it totally fits with everything else, but at the same time it has a it has a bit of a different vibe because it's so much has so much more bright colors in it, even though at the same time it's still pretty muted with the like black carpeting and the black curtains and the brown walls. But almost everything else in there is pretty colorful. Ooh, and here is where I start the third level of the house. This is primarily going to be Catherine, the ghost mother of Venus. Um, that's going to be her domain up here, pretty much. And she has her bedroom up there, her own private bathroom, and that's where two of the three levels where you can, um, where Sims can hang out on those porches are. So, um, here I was figuring out, like, what flooring and whatnot I wanted in here, so I put in the wood wooden floor that I'd put in in a lot of the rest of the house. And here I'm just sort of copying and dragging some of the stuff from Venus's Master Suite over into Catherine's Master Suite. And I believe I changed, yeah, I did change the layout of the bathroom quite a bit, because I was, like, not happy with where things were, really. And I also ended up um, changing the wallpaper in there, and I put that nice, the blue wallpaper with the white and like yellowish spots, that, that wallpaper, those are actually squares, they're not spots, that's awkward. <laughs> Whoops. But I moved that out into um, the hallway in a small area to like add a bit of life to that particular area of the house. And the wallpaper in there is going to change, so if you hate it in that bathroom, don't worry, it'll change. Oh, and here I put portraits that we can assume are of, like, family and friends of theirs. And there I put in some, like, fancier paintings and, like, that one with the violins and, like, string instruments because Catherine is a musician, as I stated in the last, um, part of the build. So anything musically related is, you know, suited to her as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, here's where I'm putting the, uh, I'll call it speckled, shall we say, wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, that's where I put the speckled wallpaper in. That's, that's a good term for it, that's a good term. Oh, and here I was like, okay, that corner looks pretty barren, so I ended up putting in that little plant, and here's where I add plants to the other little plant boxes that are up here on the porches. And the plant boxes that are down on the actual ground are going to be left, um as they are, and then there's going to be plants growing in them in the LP. Ooh, yay! Here's where we build the bedroom for the ghost, and you might be able to gather that by the change in the music while we're working on this particular room. This one is- this music piece, if I recall, is called Ghost Processional. I love finding all this royalty-free music that is just so good <laughs> and so perfect for what I'm doing. But anyway, yeah, I figured it was perfect for building the bedroom for the ghost. I mean, Catherine is dead. She is a ghost, as everyone who saw the last part or the LP would know. And here I'm just adding in all these flowers and whatnot because Venus is a seductress and she inherited that trait pretty much from her mother, who also seduced men a lot, and um, she murdered her husband to protect herself and Venus. 
and then I realized I had that painting, so I got rid of that painting. But anyway, um, Catherine is also, like I said, a bit of a seductress, so I wanted the room to still have that kind of vibe that you could tell that the person there who lived in there was um, a bit more like flirty and stuff. Ooh, those rose petals are so perfect for Venus's room, so I just had to put them in there once I found them. But yeah, Catherine's room is like a little bit more old-fashioned than the whole rest of the house. It is also um, a little bit darker, honestly, which is appropriate. I mean, she killed her husband, and she's a ghost. <laughs> and at the same time, it's got this, like, subtle hint of, like, I don't want to say sensuality, but that's almost the word I'm going for here. I can't think of the exact word, but you all get what I mean. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but yeah, I really like the way her room turned out. I like this whole build, okay? I really do. It turned out so nice. Probably because I took so much time and effort to make it just perfect. And the music is more upbeat again now. Yay! <laughs> and ooh, yeah, I added a mirror there to add a bit of... Make it seem like that area was a bit bigger. Because, of course, in real life, if you add a mirror to a smaller room, it makes the whole room feel bigger because you see reflections of things, of course. And that same effect can be achieved in The Sims, and it also puts something there that looks nice. Oh yay, houseplant. Yeah, there's quite a few houseplants in this build because um, Venus likes to do gardening and whatnot. As is evidenced by the fact that she's growing the ingredients to create her own death flower plants to grow death flowers and that she has a cow plant <laughs> which she uses to uh, get the life essence of other sims by feeding them to the cow plant. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, Carl the cow plant is going to be eating more and uh, he will be in the LP again, don't worry. Don't worry, Carl didn't go anywhere. But here I'm just filling out the hallway with some more artwork and whatnot, and grabbing those curtains to put them up everywhere. And I have player tested the house at least a little tiny bit, and it is upload. It is up to download on the gallery. If you want to download it, you can go ahead and do that. Um, just take a look in the video description, and you will see my origin ID. Just search for that, and it should be the first thing that you find on there because it's my most recent upload. It should be quite easy to find. It's the Venus Valentine Vampire House, as I think is what I named it. Something like that. You'll know it when you see it if you take a look. <laughs> oh, good lord. Here's where I work some more on the garden. And I ended up extending um, how far the fence goes from what I actually filmed. Because I needed room for Venus's like apple trees, cherry trees, and whatnot that she's growing. So I did that off camera, but... Um, in the Let's Play, you'll be able to see that. But here I was like getting the pool ready, and you can see that decoration in the pool from map view. It is so big. <laughs> you can see it in full detail when you're on the map, I noticed. And I find that kind of hilarious. It's like, is that thing big enough to see from space? Because if it is, I'm gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> I mean, you can't really test that even though Sims can go into space, but I digress. Oh, and that tent is going to go away. I just thought like, eh, maybe Venus could have that out there for like, to pretend that she goes camping out there when in reality she's just checking out the cow plant, but I ended up getting rid of it because I realized that that was a bit of a silly idea, but hey, it was an idea and it worked. Ooh, yay, and here's where I add more to the secret basement dungeon area where I add in Venus's like legitimate vampire lair and oh my god the glitch I am sorry look away for a little bit if you are bothered by the like glitchy camera movements there oh my god that hurts my eyes ah I'm sorry I left that in there so that you guys could see that it was a thing but like I said I edited out almost all of it and it's gone now for the moment so you can look again if if that bothered you <laughs> Sorry! I don't know why it did that. It was not being nice to me. <laughs> but, oh yeah, here I put in this tree, and I ended up having to move the tree over a little bit off camera because the leaves were glitching through the wall a tiny bit. <laughs> Oops. But, yeah, that's no longer a thing. 
I don't remember if I re-uploaded the house after doing that, but if that's a, that's the kind of thing that bothers you, you might want to check that if you download this house, just to see if I remembered to do that or not, because I don't know if I did or not. Uh, and here I decided to move the rocks because I wanted it so that the hedges would be completely concealing Carl the cow plant, because Carl is going to be going back here behind all these hedges, and okay, you might want to look away now, yeah, look away for a little bit again if the uh, glitchy camera bothers you. Because I was putting in the last of the hedges there. Okay, we're done with the glitchy camera if I remember correctly, so... We're good now. We're good, you can look again. <laughs> it's safe. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, here's where Venus's vampire layer is being put in. I put in this like medieval dungeon type door here. Yay! The song, um, what is this one called? The Halls of the Undead? Yeah, this is Halls of the Undead again, which was in the last part of this, too, for a bit, but it will finish off the rest of this video, so we're gonna get to hear some dark, eerie vampire music, because Venus is going to be a vampire, and here's her coffin that she can sleep in when she wants to, um, be down in the basement with her prisoners who she keeps for the purpose of like drinking their blood and or feeding to the cow plant depending on her current whims. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's evil, what can I say? She is evil and she does not care about completely just using people. Oh, and Carl does fit over there, so the cow plant does have enough room over there, by the way. And here I'm putting in some more boxes for her garden stuff. and. I think I added more of them, I don't quite remember. I may have. But at any rate, I had so much fun with this build, and I really, really, really love how it all turned out. And here is where I'm going to be giving it traits. There it has the um, like registered vampire layer, the romantic aura, and the like good gardening one. I can't see it well enough because it's actually really, really small when I'm looking at it. But here we're flipping into the screenshots, there's the exterior of the house, and then here we start looking at all of the pictures of different rooms in the interior, and as soon as these screenshots are done, this video will be done, so I am going to be ending this video here. Hope that you all enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like and to subscribe to my uh, channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll be seeing you all in the next video, and now I will be quiet so that you all can enjoy the beauty of this music and these screenshots. <laughs>